In this lecture, I want to teach you tabular prompting with ChatGPT and how this can be utilized for PowerPoint or other programs. Let's select a new chat because I want a different topic. Let's say, what are the risks when investing into stocks? Now, he will give me a general answer because I really didn't give much context. He is writing down a couple of things that I should be wary of when doing investments. This is a very general approach. Now, let's say that this is difficult for you to comprehend, to read that everything, and you could ask ChatGPT to compile this into categories. What are the categories you could break, break that, that into so I can comprehend it easier? Now, let's see what he comes up with. He tries to rewrite the original answer into several categories. And I'm always thinking from the perspective of uh, creating a presentation. So this data would already be like better organized for a possible presentation. Now we have nine different categories for with one or two points, and this might be a bit simpler to understand. Now it's still not very simple to, to read or understand. So we could ask ChatGPT now organ organize this now organize this into a table use your answer and put everything in and put every category into a set because i don't want to read over everything i want a column i want a table i want to see what i'm reading and it should be easier for me to comprehend this way you can see he gave br it is basically a space so he didn't uh, do the spacing very right. And I have a beautiful table. Now, I compiled one answer into a more categorized answer into a table. Now, this table, the magic here is I could take this table. Obviously, I could open PowerPoint, go into a new slide and boom, I could put a table and this is already a table that you can edit. And that's the beauty of it. Well, you will not always use that, but in case you have some information that you want to put quickly into a table. You just want to organize them. You already have the categories. You just need to put them in separate columns. ChatGPT can help you with that. He is able to compile tables. Remember about that when creating content and when you need to read something very quickly, you can always tell ChatGPT, hey, make this shorter. Hey, make me easier to understand. Do categories, put the categories into a table and boom, you have it, everything separated nicely in a table. I think this is a good trick to speed up our workflow when doing research and when the data is good enough to put them directly in a table. Thank you very much for listening to this additional lecture. We will see each other in the next lecture where we will try to design another slide. See you there.